Hey internet, welcome to my channel. It's the middle of the night. I'm just so heated right now. Okay, let me tell. Okay, this is a this is about mysterious tea. Now y'all remember, I made uh, some videos criticizing mysterious tea, and the first video y'all said I was being too harsh just completely ignoring the important criticism. So I made another one that was nicer so we can discuss the actual criticisms and the mysterious T stance were still coming and then mysterious blocking on me, but then she went on live and she actually addressed my issues. So in good faith, I removed the first criticism critiquing videos because she changed or so I thought now don't gaslight me about mysterious tea again listen like I said before well I was a fan I guess I'm still a fan of her content she she did well researched videos I disagreed with a lot of things in her videos I'm saying I've been subscribed to her since she was talking about Adam McIntyre. Okay, I've been subscribed to her for 11 months with the notifications on. I appreciated her research. But there are, there are things worth critiquing. And the thing is, the things worth critiquing are things that would have made her arguments in her Trisha Paytas videos even stronger and you know the the damage has already been done Trisha Paytas has lost a lot of her fan base I mean we we accomplished what we wanted so why they have to end this way mysterious T for real okay so in case you don't know mysterious T Removed all her videos, as you can see. Hold on, let me move this over here. She removed all of her videos. And I was disappointed because I was like, really, you just going to give up like that? She also deleted her Twitter account. But then I read the community post and I felt I was going to make a video based on what she said in the community post because this disappointed me. This community post disappointed me. We're going to read it. This disappointed me. But then I found um, this one lady. This one lady got so hot. This is Xylee Get Real. Okay. Go watch her live streams. She's so, she is so heated. But she revealed some things to me that I'm actually disgusted. I'm, I'm now disgusted by Mysterious T. Uh, I'm speechless I my jaw is dropped um uh, I'm gonna show it I'm gonna show it to y'all okay when they said the tweets were in that she was a Shane Stan and all this stuff I was just like oh whatever whatever she she said that she's no longer a fan whatever whatever I never got to see the tweets until this evening Y'all, hold up. Let me just show you. Let me just show you the tweets right now. Let me just show you the tweets right now. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the first tweet I saw before we get into mysterious T's um, victimizing, self-victimizing community post. I saw Adam McIntyre. He said, all allegations were against Trisha back at this time and always have been. 
let's take a look on how Mysterious T, the Shane Stan, didn't care to put effort into them when Trisha was rooting for Shane, but all of us are the fake back and forths laughable. So I saw this and I just thought, what do you mean Shane Stan? I don't know. I like, I don't know what that, like, what, is, what, is, what do y'all mean Shane Stan? But, you know, he has this tweet here of her saying, I like her. Thank you, Trisha Paytas, for being a great friend to Shane Dawson, blah, blah, blah. And when I saw this, I was like, well, Mysterious T said that she used to be a Shane fan and she's not anymore. And she didn't know all the things that Shane had done in the past that were so problematic. And she didn't know the things Trisha Paytas had done in the past that were so problematic. So I was like, you know, whatever. By the way, I'll explain because some of y'all might be like, who is this Adam McIntyre? I'll explain that. I'll explain that later. Okay. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then people were, you know, someone sent me this one where she is this in 2020, baby, a year ago, one year ago, she is showing stand behavior. I'm like, okay, so she is a stand. Um, you know, Shane Dawson during the whole fiasco with Shane Dawson, where he got canceled, he's saying, I deleted everything. I'm done. She's like, oh, I'm waiting for your return. Miss you. Ignore the ignorant people calling you things you're not. They just all jump on the cancel bandwagon and people become so sick themselves. I know you are changed and such a good person. Don't let anyone make you think otherwise. So I'm like, okay. Mm, okay. And then, you know, you, you do realize the amount of B wording you do about Jeffrey Star in your bullish article just sends more business its way. Girl, you're obsessed. You were literally defending Laura Lee's racist tweets yesterday because of your obsession. So I'm like, this is Stan behavior. Okay. I was like, I'm starting to see what they mean when they say she was a Stan. And I'm starting to understand why people keep saying she's hypocritical because she's she's criticizing someone for making an article against Jeffree Star. Girl, you made a whole multi-part series against Trisha Paytas. Can't somebody say the same thing? Like, wouldn't you, why doesn't this logic apply to your Trisha Paytas? It's because you know that if you, if you put, some work out that shows the truth about something, you know that you feel like you're doing something right. You feel like you're doing something good. That's why you made that Trisha Paytas series. I hope. <laughs> now I, y'all, y'all were getting on to me when I was talking about her crying in that one life that she deleted and she was crying. And y'all were like, you, you're so, you're being so mean. She's emotional. And I said, no, y'all, she's performative. And this is just making me feel like maybe she, I, for, at first I considered what y'all said, but these tweets are making me feel like maybe she really is performative because she knows that when you create content, you're putting out the truth, you think you're doing the right thing. It doesn't matter that you're sending more business his way. You're putting out the truth. So she, so the fact that she just like doesn't have that logical thinking here, that's like Stan behavior to me. Okay. So I'm like, okay, she, she's a Stan. <sighs> Y'all, but then I saw. Let me see if I can pull it up. I saw this that just, I could not, I can't defend it. I can't rationalize it. I can't defend it. Let's see if I can pull it up. Girl, it's not coming up. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Look at this, y'all. How do I zoom in? Y'all remember this? Shane Dawson pretending to <laughs> do 
jerk it to Willow Smith when she was a little girl. It made the Smith family very upset. It made the entire internet very upset. Like, everyone was very upset that you would be joking about this. And it was this along with some other clips, you know, Shane kissing a prepubescent fan on the lips, Shane speaking very actually to his little niece, to his prepubescent fans, to the fans who talked to him on chat roulette, asking them to twerk for him, etc., etc. It was all these things combined that made people feel like, are you, like, is there something wrong with you? Are you a wikophiliac? I don't know what, I don't know how else to say it. Remember that? Remember people put whole video essays together, just putting one thing after the other, after the other, after the other, and compiled evidence to show there's a pattern of behavior. Y'all remember, right? Kind of like what Mysterious T did for Trisha Paytas. And then look what Mysterious T had to say. It still doesn't make him a Wikipedia file. Eye roll. It's a joke. She tweeted this last year. I've seen this clip a million times. Let's keep circulating it because it needs to stay on the internet. Eye roll again. Missing context. What context is needed? It doesn't matter if it's, it literally doesn't matter that it's a joke. Yes, it's disgusting, but he isn't actually doing it. It's an effing joke. No amount of clips that I've seen is going to make me change my opinion on him. Y'all, uh-uh, I'm sorry. Y- y'all caping for this? This is, who you're, this is who you're caping for? This is who you coming into my comment section and completely ignoring my valid criticisms of how she's trying to avoid questioning and how she carelessly discusses essay in her live streams. Y'all are going to just completely ignore that to cape for this. This is, this is what you want to cape for. This is what you want to cape for. This is the tweets that you want to cape for. Uh uh-uh. uh, I know y'all. <laughs> know y'all. I know y'all lying. I know y'all effing. I know y'all effing lying. No, I'm sorry. And this is not the only one. There's there's more. Okay, I saw it on this Zyli. Zyli get real. Expected nothing in return. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know where I'm at with this. She, see. And here's the thing. I didn't even know when I posted my criticisms of her, I just wanted her to improve. I, I just wanted her to like, you know, make these tweets. So like this investigation can be stronger and more legitimate and like, you know, less offensive. And you know what I mean? I didn't even know there were people who felt the way I felt and I didn't even know that there were people who were even more passionate because they they knew her better than I knew her. I didn't know she was like this. Okay. Now let's read her, what she said here. Yes, I removed all my videos. I'm taking myself out of the situation, the situation you created. What are you talking about? You posted an amazingly detailed video about a bad actor that we all have been trying to hold her feet to the fire for a long time. And you managed to do it. Why are you, so what do you mean you're now taking yourself out of the situation? You are the situation. 
Okay, let's continue. Because I'm not playing this game. You actually, you are playing this game. Let me tell you, I didn't realize what was going on behind the scenes. I didn't realize she was going back and forth with Adam McIntyre and Petty Page and all these other people. I didn't know that's what she was doing behind the scenes. I didn't know she was going back and forth about petty about listen if you don't want to talk about tweets then don't be going back and forth petty about tweets if you want to focus on the trisha investigation then focus on the trisha investigation you i'm not playing this game you have been playing this game actually you played the game so much that you ran off the internet. You ran yourself off the internet. I'm not going to be publicly humiliated. You humiliate, you tweeted this trick. You tweeted this and you didn't delete it until just the other day. You tweet, you, this is what, this is what I was trying to say in my first video. Her reaction is literally the same reaction as the people that she exposes in her videos is, is Trisha, did Trisha pay this not speak like this? Did Trisha pay this not act like she didn't say what she said? I'm not going to be publicly humiliated, which actually you humiliated yourself because you tweeted those things just because I made a good series. That's not why. Okay, I think what she means is she's getting extra attention because she made a good series. I've always been honest. You haven't. No, she hasn't been honest because she she went on live and she said, I don't support Shane. I She said, I didn't know about all of the disgusting things that he did. She said she didn't know about it. She said she didn't know about it, but... Actually, not only did you know about it, you defended it. So what do you mean you've been honest? <sighs> you've been honest with everyone. You, you weren't. You've always been honest. It's not honest when people ask you to explain these tweets and then you block them and delete their, their question. That's not honest. That's what you were doing. That's what, that's what you were doing until you watched my video. Listen, I don't, know, I don't know if it was my video or a lot of us. I didn't know it was so many people who were getting on to her about this. You will continue to be honest. I really hope you do, but I don't, I don't, but mm. yes, when I started you, a YouTube channel, I really enjoyed Shane's content. We all did. And I will never agree with the things he did in his past. You, you do agree though. Uh, you agree. Trick, you agreed. Oh my God, you agree. Some of it I can't even talk about because of how wrong it was, which I wish you would because this one wasn't wrong. This one wasn't wrong. And she also tweeted in defense of him asking prepubescent girls to twerk for him in chat roulette. So this stuff wasn't wrong. So what are the ones, what, are, what, 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 what were the ones that were wrong? I'd like to know too. I only watched him for a year before starting this channel, which is why that other stuff was so, so shocking because it's content. Oh my God. She's literally lying. Y'all, I'm sorry. Because she saw this, she defended this. And then if you go to Xylee Gets Real, She's playing her Shane Dawson video, which when her Shane, this Shane Dawson video she made, when it came out, I did watch it. I disagreed with it, but 
you know, I was like, whatever, I just disagree, right? But you will see in this documentary that she knew everything and she was defending it. The, the whole documentary was about how people were going too far and you got to understand it was a different time. It was, She's one of them. It's a different time, folks. Yep. And now she's backpedaling. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I will never let none of y'all gaslight me about Mysterious ever again. Oh, my God. Where was I even? And that look how long this is. Look how long this is. No, we're going to go through it, y'all. We're going to go through it. We're going to go through it. Because y'all... One of y'all, I even remember one of y'all left a comment asking me to apologize to her. Hell to the now. Finna apologize for what? You owe me the apology. <laughs> okay. But nobody can ever allow change in people on YouTube. see where she's coming with that one the internet is is the mass mob is very black and white thinking which is why t channels are such a massive problem but what's funny is you are a t channel you you mysterious you are a t channel so if you believe t channels are a massive problem you are part of that problem Literally, you are so much part of the problem that you chase your own self off the internet. There are good ones out there. I'm, I'm sure she's saying me. <laughs> I'm sure there are good ones out there, i.e. me. But there are about four or so that spread false information do hardly any research and sit on their high pedestals like they do nothing wrong. N I would agree that there are a lot of, there are T channels that behave this way. Uh, I, shoot. I w wasn't that to, yeah. When this whole Trisha Paytas thing st was starting to go off, I was complaining. I was mad about it. I was contemplating no longer covering it because these type of channels that do this were pissing me off. But it's not more. It's more than four. It's not four. Four. Girl. What? It's a lot of them. But I can't help thinking half of this four, she must be talking about Adam McIntyre and Petty Page because they're, those aren't her friends. The, the thing about Mysterious T is she... She... Uh, thinks of people as either her friend or not her friend. So when you're her friend, no, you're good. When you're not her friend, you're not good. So Ethan said that he'll help her. Okay, now Ethan's good because he's my friend. Like, now listen, you can disagree with me on that one, but because I'm, I don't have no proof to show you that pattern of behavior, but that's just an observation that I've noticed of her. <sighs> All these channels, they supported Trisha. So did you, Trick. Yo, this is not, this is, she deleted 2,000 tweets. I'm only showing one, two, three, four, five of them. She deleted 2,000 tweets. And turned a blind eye to her behavior. Yep, just like you. And they put this person on a pedestal, just like you, knowing about her abusive ways. Now, is it possible that she didn't know about Trisha Paytas' abusive ways back here? It's possible. But given that she knew about Shane's issues and she didn't care, not only, not just that she didn't care, she defended it. I wouldn't put it past her that she also knew. And so this is what I'm saying. People are like that her Twitter has nothing to do with the videos. 
Yes, it does. If we, if she tweets in a very suspicious way and she can't explain it, it gives us an idea of what her motives were. What did she have a motive outside of this Trisha person has gone too far. Was there an extra motive outside of that? Cause that should be put into consideration. The bias of the content creator, it would be nice to put that into consideration. So don't, don't play like the tweets are not relevant, but that aside, she discusses this stuff on Twitter. So it's not wrong for people to look at your Twitter and question who you are. You discuss, you discuss this on your Twitter. You ask people to tweet you. You can't, uh, y'all, I'm confused about the logic. And some of y'all really some of y'all really wanted me to be kissing Mysterious T's ass. Y'all really wanted me to be up her behind. I, I, I'm, I, I need you to explain to me why. Because <laughs> I'm not getting the logic. Um, they victim blamed a 14-year-old kid when he came out against James Charles. Yeah. And the way that they're handling this Trisha situation is also kind of victim blamey. I don't like the way some of these drama channels report on it. And like I said in my other video, you don't help when you discuss things that are not related to SA and you discuss them in isolation and talk about them like it's a fact that that means the essay didn't happen. And then when you're called out on it, you backpedal and say, oh no, I meant that, uh, I meant it's suspicious when you look at it with all the information. You do a lot of backpedaling, it seems like. And, you know, this is not just, this is not just um, being nitpicky. These are serious topics. We're talking about child essay and we're talking about a drama T channel that is literally behaving in the same way that gets the people she reports on canceled. Those are two, those are two very big things for me. I don't know how that's not important to some of y'all. I don't know. Like some of y'all just don't care about that. Okay. It, it, that's kind of like the Trisha stance and Trisha stance <laughs> don't care about nothing. So maybe you don't care about nothing either, but I care. This is not just nitpicking to me. This is making my stomach churn. I couldn't go to sleep. There is so much from all of them that they have turned a blind eye to for views. I would, she doesn't, she never posts frequently enough for me to say she does things for views, but we can definitely say she turns blind eye. She does. So it feels like the pot ke calling the kettle black. I had no idea about any of the stuff from Trisha until she lied about the hair by Jay situation because I didn't watch her. And what I uncovered was so horrifying. What's, what's crazy is this wasn't horrifying for her. I want to know why Shane isn't horrifying for you, but Trisha is. Trish, it is horrifying. I agree. But I just question your judgment when, when you can know that Trisha's stuff is horrifying, but not Shane's stuff. If this was about Shane, I would have finished my first series about the hair by Jay situation because I have all the receipts proving the majority of what she said was a lie. I didn't because they're, oh, is this small for y'all? Should I zoom in more?
I didn't because there was a lot that was more important. I found out she uh, a busted. <laughs> Child, I'm trying to <laughs> Moses and uncovered the abas. Girl, we already know this stuff. Like we know this, we, nobody's disagreeing with you about this stuff. The list goes on and on. Yeah. The list goes on and on about Shane as well, but you saying it's just a joke. That's two things I didn't see in Trisha is accountability for these things or change. So maybe that's why she's defending this stuff because she saw, she felt like Shane, you know, Shane apologized and, you know, just saying apology you know, she's just looking for a decent apology. But even if you accepted Shane's apology, that doesn't explain why you're defend. Like, why would you defend the thing he's apologizing for it though? Like he's apologizing for it for a reason. Why, why are you defending it? And see, listen, if you're going to expose and then you have stuff like this, baby, you cannot be mad. You can't, you can't be mad that we see this, that you tweeted this girl. Let's see what else. This is why I talk against T channels all the time, but you are a T channel because they act like children. You are literally acting like a child. You, you're, you're upset that people are holding your standards to you. And I just couldn't believe this. Like, you know, this woman is 37 years old. She has a child, at least one child of her own. You know, this is a grown woman. This is a grown woman. And I just expected her to be, be more mature. I, I expected her to be more sensitive about, you know, when, when people who are essay survivors are telling you, Hey, can you, you know, clean up the way you're discussing this because the way you're discussing it is damaging, you know, especially since she has a child of her own, I would think that, you know, I just, I can't even finish my sentence. I just expected so much more. I expected more from her. Um, and this is just really disappointing. When all I did was give us, that's not all you did. I gave a series that was well-researched and well-presented. And then people had some criticisms that would make it even better researched and better presented. And you get mad and then you get mad about it on Twitter. So we look at your Twitter and you scroll down, um, and see that you posted this a year ago. I mean, well, I, I'm just trying to understand why she, why she thinks she's the victim here. I'm how was she the victim in this situation? You, you left this up. You left this up. You left this up and then you started blocking people who was asking you about it. And that's not the only one. There's way more. I just, it, it, I'm sure there's other, I'm sure there's other channels that will show you all the tea, but I, I, I didn't, I didn't need to see more. I did not need to see more. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't need to see more. Um, what else does she say? We're almost done with this one. That most of them enjoyed. Yeah, we enjoyed it. Until I started getting attacked behind the scenes from Trisha. So what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say, <gasps> girl, is she trying to say that Trisha talked them into hating on her? It, I, that's what she's trying to say. Listen, <laughs> That's what she's saying. She's saying this backlash is because of Trisha, that Trisha talked to them or has them on payola or something, payroll. It's not Trisha's fans. 
It's that these channels are going to continue to discredit my work based on tweets in support of Shane. I personally, now she might be talking, she might be including me, um, but I don't discredit her work. I, I'm mad. I'm like, if you're going to leave the internet, can you at least, you know, leave, leave up, leave up the Trisha stuff. Like we're all discussing this because of your video. Can you leave that up? No, she removed that too. I'm like, just literally leave it up and delete the YouTube app from your phone or whatever you're trying to do. Uh huh. Which, by the way, most of these channels knew and defended Shane before it was popular. Uh, I don't understand what that means. It's all about views. They don't care about the truth. I'll agree. A lot of them is just about views. But I don't. I don't know how much of the truth you actually care about. I'm taking myself out of the situation that she created because anything I post moving forward will be torn apart. Uh, well, yeah, if you're deflecting like you are here, yes, it will be torn apart because you're not taking accountability because I choose to see good in people. The girl, you do you under do you not see how this sounds? It sounds like Trisha gave you a script, girl. I'm not on payroll. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I would well, you're you are low key accusing other people of being on payroll, so it it's not that ridiculous. I would never ever do something. I don't, girl. Your credit, you. When you show receipts, I love your receipts. But if I'm just trying to go based off your word, mm, I feel shaky. I would never ever do something or change my opinion for money. I think you, you, you will change it for friendship. You changed your opinion about Ethan because he, he became your little friend. Because I don't care about it. But you do care about who's your friend, who likes you. Girl, you have like almost the entire internet on your side. And you get into a Twitter beef with Adam McIntyre, somebody who's like almost half your age. And now you want to quit the internet. This channel is a hobby. I don't rely on this for income. They do, which is why they will lie, twist, and destroy at any cost. You sound like Trisha Paytas. They don't want growth or accountability. Actually, we would love, I would, I personally would love for you to hold yourself accountable. I would, I would love if you did. They want their paycheck and allowing growth in people is unprofitable. Well, I, we're waiting for you to grow. We're waiting. You know, we've been waiting on Trisha to grow. Like, you're... Why is she trying to flip it on, on other people? They are definitely tablet. Like, now you're just ranting about the supposedly it's just four channels. Supposedly it's just four channels. But you quit the internet and you're ranting on and on about them. Girl, we don't give a damn about them. Especially if you're not going to name names. We don't give a damn about them. What we give a damn about was your video content. And you, you know, putting out the best message possible. That's what we give a damn about. You're going on and on about this. I will still donate to charity. Okay, good. She'll post a receipt. I always meant what I said. If Trisha showed actual growth and change in her ways, I would have encouraged the community to allow her to do that. Because I think there needs to be a change in the community to stop judging the hell out of people. But you do that. Your whole channel was about that. And to allow for accountability and change. I appreciate you. And, uh, it's been an amazing journey. It doesn't sound like it. <laughs> but with all this ranting and raving, it doesn't sound like it. 
And then she talks about membership. She'll refund everybody. Um, for those who want to know if I'll be gone forever, I don't know. I never thought I would achieve what I did. I just got to step out of the situation right now because these same channels that are toxic and have fueled Trisha are going to keep doing this. She's still, who are these four channels? Does anybody know who are these four people that she's like, they're just going to keep doing it. And what I want to know is if it's really just four people who are bothering you and you know, the whole rest of the internet is on your side. Why are you giving them so much attention? Why don't you just block Iana? Just block, block Iana, these four people and, you know, f fulfill your, the mission. I just don't understand why, why are these four people who are critiquing her, which if one of them is Adam McIntyre, he has fair criticism. We're going to talk about him in a second. He has fair criticism, but if these four people are, but, but y'all know she's a very sensitive person. Yo, I just got to say, I have never seen a drama channel as sensitive as her. I've, I've just never seen it. I've never seen it. Um, she's very, she's very delicate. Um, so, and you, and you can see this cause if, if it's four or so people that are bothering you, but you have 500 comments of adoration, it's, it's really hard for her to just, I don't know, girl, like, let me. We're not going to sit here and be a armchair psychologist right now, <laughs> but there's something there. Okay. And you know, I'm sure there's other, maybe this lady knows, I don't know mysterious T well enough, but there's something there because what the other T channels do is if there's four people bothering them, they just block Kiana and they keep going because they've, they feel they have a higher purpose, higher mission. Hey, whether it's their paycheck or they're trying to get out the truth, they're not going to let four people stop them from something that they felt is important. But okay. But the other thing is this, this is worth discussing. Like, ma'am, Ma'am, like we're not, you're not going to just pretend like this was not a problem. You can't, she, she doesn't, she never mentions this. She never apologized for this. So she's not sorry for this. She, she, she never, she has literally never addressed this. I didn't know this is what the tweets were like. She wants people to just ignore that. Ignore the things that she was saying just a year ago. I don't know, y'all. It just, it just, it doesn't seem right to me. It seems like there's some entitlement or, you know, because she put out a really good video, we should be okay or just ignore things that are problematic. I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem right to me. Yeah. Come after me if I did some messed up ish, but I put out support to someone doesn't make me a bad person. It, yeah. I mean, so, a lot of people would disagree. A lot of people would say you're you're a bad person if you're supporting a Wikipedia file. Because <sighs> a lot of people, there are people who just they really they really do feel that Shane is like is that. Um, so they would disagree with you there. It doesn't mean I'm okay with their past. You are okay with their past. You supported it, and it doesn't make my videos less credible. No one said your videos are less credible. Well. I take that back. No, I've seen people who say, because you, you've also tweeted some a busser apologetic things. 
So there are people who feel like because you've been apologetic to a busters in the past, literally a year ago, that colors your video. Um, and I have to say, if you are low key and a bus, a busser, um, apologist, that would explain why you feel very comfortable talking about essay in a really problematic way. Like that would explain why you feel comfortable emphasizing a low crime rate means essay probably didn't happen. Like I see where people are growing with that. I can see why they feel that way. And you refuse to address it. Like you, you are literally not addressing it. (laughs) I said too much at times because I saw what was really going on. I don't know what she's talking about here. And I think there is some really messed up stuff that goes on with these channels. I, girl, I don't know what she's talking about now. I don't know what she's talking about. I feel like she's talking about this situation. I feel like she's, she's low-key still trying to defend the situation. Y'all, I have a problem with this, okay? I have a problem with it. Yeah, I don't support this. Um, This is a problem for me. And it's a problem for a lot of people. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up with the Adam McIntyre thing. Adam McIntyre is this kid. Look at him. Adam McIntyre. He's this kid. Um, So let me tell you the tea on him. Because he, I mean, he also annoyed me, but I was also like, you know, he's a kid. And he has grown over time. Like, I've, I'm like, I'm watching this kid grow. It's, it's kind of cool. But he first popped off because he was the assistant, like the social media assistant for Colleen Bollinger. She's the lady who does Miranda Shanks. Okay. And he was clout chasing. He, two things happened. The first thing is um, he convinced Colleen to make a video called I'm Coming Out. Um. Uh, just kind of queer bit. Ba- okay. I mean, she deleted it now, but I was thinking maybe some drama channel had it, but it was kind of, it was like a queer baiting title and everyone's like, Oh my gosh, is she, you know, LGBTQ, whatever. And then like you watch the video and she's like, oh, I'm back. I'm back off hiatus now. And everyone, you know, people weren't feeling it. So Colleen, first of all, I don't know what in the world Colleen's doing listening to, the boy was 15 at the time. What are you doing hiring a 15 year old fan, (laughs) ma'am? Okay. So by no means am I trying to just throw Adam under the bus. Like keep in mind this entire time, Adam is a minor. So she gets on and she's like, I'm so sorry about that. It's not my fault. My assistant convinced me to do it. Your 15 year old assistant. I'm like, girl, that's not a good look. Now you're blaming somebody else because at the end of the day, you, tw- you tweeted it. Like at the end of the day, it was your fingers that press send. He didn't, he didn't do it on your behalf when you didn't know, when you weren't looking, you, you know what I mean? That was the first problem. Then the second problem, honey. So she was doing um, an auction. Yeah, I can't find this. I can't find these videos anymore. But here, I think this is what. Ah, girl, I don't know. She was doing some auction with her fans, right? And she had a pair of some underwear, like a bra and panties. It's not this. And she wore it over her clothes. 
And she's like, oh my God, nobody's going to want this. And then Adam's like, I want it. I want it. And Colleen was like, oh my gosh, you, you can't be serious. No, I wanted this so funny. I wanted us a joke. And she's like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, my mom said it's okay. So she sells it to him. And she, by the way, this was to raise money for a charity. So she, okay, here we go. Sending, sending a, a kid her underwear. <laughs> so, so he, he buys it. Right. So then Adam starts talking about, oh my gosh, Colleen is a creeper. She blamed me for her homophobic tweet and, um, she sent me her underwear. Oh my gosh. It was so disgusting. My mom had to take the package, but then people found out that he, um, told her that his mom said it's okay for him to buy it. And then there's pictures of him wearing it over his clothes and he tweeted it. So people drug Colleen. Just just so you know, people were dragging Colleen for filth. Okay. And there were a few people who were dragging Adam. Now, not a lot. I mean, we can acknowledge Adam. That's not right. That's not, that's not good. Okay. And people were acknowledging that. But people were not dragging him for filth because he's a minor. But one of the people who said, nope, I don't care, is Mysterious T. Now, I can understand, you know, you feel like whatever, he's 18, so I can drag him, you know, because what he did, you know, he needs to be held accountable for it. Okay. But... As you know, if you watch the Tr Trisha Paytas video, uh, Mysterious inserts her own opinion. That's that's why I had issue with the way she speaks about SA sometimes because she'll have, in her opinion, a low crime rate means SA doesn't happen. And she'll state that opinion, you know, she'll emphasize it in a way that people are taking it as fact. So she did the same thing to Adam and she was just kind of petty. She was saying, you know, his voice is annoying. She was saying, oh my gosh, why he's always getting on live. He's such a clout, you know, like, like petty stuff. Like, okay, ma'am, you're almost double his age. Can you, st it's like, it reminds me of when Trisha Paytas was ragging on, on what's her face? The little girl, um, Charlie D'Amelio. And everyone's like, Trisha, she is 16, 17. You are 30 something. Leave her alone. Like we, we got it. We get it. Leave her alone. Nobody cares that she doesn't like snails. That's how, so that's how mysterious was with Adam. Um, I didn't like that. I, I watched that. I didn't like that. I didn't, I did not like that. So this is why mysterious and Adam have beef. <sighs> Obviously Adam has changed over time. Like Adam is so different than how he used to be. Cause listen, I, I would not make a video about him, but I can agree. You know, I could agree with what some people were saying, but he has, he's really growing in my opinion and you still have beef with him, but I thought you said that, you know, we need to allow people to change and grow. So why do you still have beef? Why are you going back and forth with him? Don't you have your own children to be tending to, you know, that like, that's just how I feel. Like, why are you going back and forth with this boy that honestly you were in the wrong for? Okay. So that's my stance on mysterious. Um, this wall of text shows that she cannot take criticism. P people are not hating on her. I mean, I'm sure you, listen, when I posted my opinion about mysterious tea, there was somebody who was like, Ew, your wig is ugly. You know, like you, there's stupid stuff like that. But by and large, 
It was just people asking her to explain why are you supporting this? Why why are you supporting something that we you would think you're now against? People were asking her to hold herself accountable and she was just so insulted. She just couldn't believe it. She just couldn't believe that people would question her. I just feel like there's some kind of entitlement. I don't understand how you can be literally called Mysterious T. You make long form exposés about people and drama. You ask the same questions people are asking of you and you're just so befuddled. You just... You just don't understand why people would ask you to explain this. That doesn't make sense to me. That's why when she made that live crying and y'all were like, you're so mean, why are you mocking her? Because I'm like, this don't make no kind of sense. It's performative. It's Trisha. It's... She's beha- Somebody got mad at me for saying this, but this is my opinion. If you don't like it, then give me a better explanation. But this behavior is the behavior of the people she claims to not agree with and the people she claims to expose, including Trisha Paytas. And her stance behave delusional, just like the Trisha Paytas stance. And now she's trying to hold these four drama channels accountable, but she doesn't want to be held accountable. But you can hold them accountable. You can call out those T channels, but those T channels can't call you out? Small channels like myself can't call you out? Like what the, what is this? What this type of hypocrisy doesn't make sense for somebody like you. <sighs> Do y'all understand me now? Do y'all understand me now? I went from annoyed to disappointed and now I'm just disgusted. Yo, thank you for putting all the clips of Trisha Paytas together, putting it back to back so that it's now undeniable so we can finally cancel this girl. (sighs) Thank you for that. But other than that, other than that, I hope when you come back, you have, you have changed. I hope when you come back, you, you, ha- you show some growth and accountability and change. At which point I will resubscribe. Thank you for listening. If you have questions, you can leave a comment. Um, like I said, there are other channels that are madder than me. They have more receipts than me. They have more insight than me. You can check them out. I only know about Xylee Gets Real, but I know there's more of them. All right, thanks. Bye.